Most cab drivers have their share of horror stories, especially those who work late night shifts. Many of these involve robberies, or occasionally even encounters with strange freaks of nature that would cause even the most skeptical among us to consider whether life from other planets might exist right here among us. But for New York cabbie Mahmoud Sek, what initially appeared to be an attempt at robbery by a gun-wielding assailant ended up becoming far more terrifying. A Fox News report detailed how the suspect, a Latin American man wearing a scarf and cap, was picked up by the driver at Lexington Avenue and 130th Street in Manhattan, then taken to West 180th Street and Davidson Avenue in the Bronx. Once there, he pulled out a gun and tried to rob the driver, the report said. At this point, while the passenger attempted to rob him, Sex struggled with the man, who, rather than using the gun, suddenly began biting the cabbie on the neck in an act of aggression that has been described as something that would make Bram Stoker blush. The photograph taken by the dash camera in the taxi Sek had been driving, depicts a young man with glowing eyes and a sadistic-looking smirk, even vaguely reminiscent of serial killer Richard Ramirez. In his book Real Vampires, Night Stalkers and Creatures from the Dark Side, author Brad Steiger makes the case that characters such as Ramirez, due to their apparent bloodlust and habitual desire to inflict pain and suffering, are the modern counterparts to the folkloric vampires of days past. Here again, perhaps we've seen that the classic depiction of the vampire is indeed alive, or at least undead, and well, even a place as densely populated as present-day New York.